What's up guys? This is the Roman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire, my Napoleon, sorry, Total War Let's Play, as Great Britain. So to round up on last time, when Henry Paget has flanked around Warsaw, the former Polish capital, and we're going to capture it. Um they have no artillery. The reinforcing arm the reinforcing unit has been depleted somewhat. But Lothar Salter is not a he's not a bad general. He's more experienced and he's better he's a better general than Henry Paget. However, I believe he will fall in this fight, so let us attack. But today, I've not had to fight many siege sieges. Like it's all been um, attacking down the open field. So let's go and have a look at what the terrain looks like. Rain. So I'd immediately like to get some guns up on that hill. Probably build... Let's get a solid core of infantry. This flat terrain is going to end up being a good place for the guns. I fear so. So let's get... Unit of foot, light, foot infantry, unit of guard infantry, and my rifles on the left. Two units of infantry to the right of this. And let's put the majority of my heavy cavalry on the exposed flank, my dragoons on the left. Grab the enemy by the throat and then hit, hit them in, in the vitals. Enough of that. Um, come on. So we can afford to take some measures, some measures to advance in a fairly stable order. Don't advance too far on the right. Oh, well, too, not too far yet. So let's see what they do. They're just taking position. Okay. So we've got nine pounders. So these guys up on the hill will be able to fire at them quite strongly. We are weak on the right, and I'm not moving up my howitzers. So let's keep them... I also might deploy them both to support this flank. And my light dragoons. Push up. Are they all? Yeah, they're all forming. They're all reforming new positions. So, what I might do. This rise is a reasonable spot. Up here also would be useful. Ultimately I might just deploy my other foot artillery up here as well. It's going to be a long way, but right now we are going to push up. Because they're currently fixed in position and a bit neutered. So let's push up with our forces, push up the howitzers. Because these guys, I think, from this range can actually provide fire. Speed up time a little bit. Potentially not. They're not within range. Ooh, they aren't. Let's push the foot artillery 
right up into their face. And then let's get ready to redeploy these chaps like this. Well, they might have to actually pick. I mean, I'm trying to figure out who's deploying. Because according to that, it's like, who's this line infantry? They might, my infantry have to run. Might have to run. Just to make sure they get up into position. So let's push up. Push up with this infantry. Push up with the rifles. I've left my heavy cavalry at the back as well. Ready. Push my guns up to about here. Because they are well they're not pushing, they're just reforming their lines like fools. So the question is do I advance through the town? I think I push on the left. Oh yeah, my general's all the way back here, so he can get in over there. Let's so speed up time somewhat. Well, the general's coming out for a look. Okay, this is it. They have deployed. Let's get my light dragoons to hit their guard dragoons. run my infantry into position. Oh, they're going to get some shots off at me. Nope. So we should win that fight. But what I want to do actually is if my gun's going to go there to solid solidify my line a bit more. They shattered. So right now we're at hmm. there we go. We are picking at them at range with my rifles. Okay, now the line's surging They've forward. General, now they must what? The general charged our battle line. So these guys are going to curl backwards like this. My howitzers are going to go more over here. My cavalry is going to scoot over here. General, get more into the centre. Unlimber my guns. Because I don't want... If I have them here right now, these this flank would get absolutely swamped. So I want to fall back. So I maintain that field of ground so I can maximise my firepower. Pivot them slightly. Pushing on this flank, yeah, they are properly pushing. This is why speed up time. Oh, I thought we were actually. Oh, we are. The Brunswick sharpshooters are being rather silly. Yep, yeah, because they've pushed right up into my face.
go on how it says get in position and unlimber because they are falling back like completely so I see this is the opportunity to push up Let's do targeted fire. Let's hit the musketeers. Remember these guns. Let's keep my cav moving around their flank. Let's run my rifles up. run these guys into position because I'll be firing through the town into the bulk of Prussian troops. So I'm going to let these guys commit and let my cavalry just wait. Because collectively these first few units should fall completely. So you guys, the 60th, should be firing into, yeah, firing into the armed citizenry. Let's run all my infantry up from the left flank. So when these guys get. These guys properly commit. Let's commit my dragoons. These guys are committed. These guys are suitably on their own. Man, these Pr Prussians are getting blown away. I mean, they are charging uphill, which isn't great. I'm hoping my dragoons will slice into the Brunswickers. So the, this flank has fallen, so then let's push up my troops aggressively. And my dragoons go to work all the way out here. Wow, keep you running. Okay, so let's march. You guys into town. Good, support my other cavalry unit. You guys should be tearing up that musketeer unit. Tearing that musketeer unit a new one. Dragoons into the mix. Okay, let's chase into them with my light dragoons. Go 
course mates light infantry unit get more of a specific position. My light infantry is still good up there on the hill. Commit my cover into chewing up their infantry. Let's run up some infantry to at least get into that area. Now let's just focus on the infantry that's still alive. Oops, they are losing the battle against my dragoons, against my light dragoons. Yep, fear not, chaps, we're not after you. So we haven't made we haven't made any cracked any holes yet in their in their defences. I mean, this musketeer unit should probably. This musketeer unit should probably die. They're against two units of my infantry plus some rifles behind them. Where's Mont General? Let's get Henry Paget out. So these Swiss Grens would be nice if we can make them rout. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. The rifles have consumed all of their ammo. Oh, okay, chase down the musketeers then. To be honest, these three, these three may actually bayonet charge through the gap. Let's go hammer how it's firing in on them. Let's get one of these dragoons and get them out of the way. Let's smash them into the landwehr garrison. Just hit them all. Still engaging? Yeah, we're still engaging. Okay, now you immediately spin around and hit them. My heart says they've done loads of friendly fire, more specifically fire on the town hall. Well, maybe not, if I'm about to charge them. Fire at the Swiss Grens. Glorious victories, huh? It's soon to be yours. Soon you will. This my general will have not. Oh no, they do still have people to chase. Targeted fire against the Swiss Grens. Let my cavalry just tear them a new one.
good. And they're gone. Delicious. Lots of dead Prussians and a captured promising forward base. End battle. Heroic victory for the British forces outside the city of... Oh, used by spies to sabotage armies. Maybe I should. Awesome stuff. So, how have we... I think... Did we liberate Poland? Did we liberate Poland? I can't remember. I don't think... No, we liberated Saxony. Do I create Poland? For well, the Duchy of Warsaw, Warsaw. Um... No, I think I keep this one for myself. Choose you to hit them and then just. I mean, can you, can Frederick Adam then go on and hit Peter Gresner? No, sadly not. Okay, let's pair the barracks and the Ordnance Factory. The army's replenishing. I create the infrastructure, build a new Call of Justice and new Grand Opera House, get a new factory. And the Masonic Lodge. Awesome. Okay, so you've not got much to do. I might actually send you on a run to go engage Klausenberg, because right now we're we're engaging Zagreb and we are engaging Budapest. Um but it would be good to send some troops on a bit of a bit of a flanking run around the village. Okay, you're an army. I was clearly ready. I was clearly building up, but you have no role currently. Everything's being built. Everyone's being replenished. Get you up to this this empty space, Michael Stowell. Um, oh my God! I remember this. General Litton got absolutely smashed. No commanders yet. Not for this turn. Okay. I think I'm content to let those guys stew for a little bit. I might send my cavalrymen south to go have a look at if anyone might be coming to reinforce them. Loads of recruit, loads of uh, research going on. Poland's captured. Plus one besieging for Henry Paget. Good stuff. But it's hit and turn because I want to. See what happens. I've had lots of fights during this um, during this turn. Oh, oh. <laughs> sorry, Munich. Your ours. I'm going to take you back properly this time, and then we're going to just auto resolve this. Oh, I really didn't. Peace, peace. <laughs> I was about to say, if you break, if you break your peace treaty with the Russians, I'm like, yeah, but I don't care if they do join the Russians in war. Oh, okay. So this is the main thing I wanted to do with this, with this uh, Munich army is move it to uh, box in the Russians at Switzerland, because right now they're. Uh, No real concern. Like, if, when they declare war on me, then they can just break out and wreak havoc. Don't worry, the Portuguese are on the way. So, Munich. Let's repair everything. So, you should, should like me already. But let's take William de Dornberg. He can sit on this bridge, and then I might just garrison Strasbourg, more so than build an army, so their first target will be quite well defended. 
No, I don't. Oh, silly thing. There we go. Okay, so let's go back up to here to where this captain is. Let's give him a new general. George Murray. He rings a bell. So he needs a howitzer unit and a artillery unit. Artillery. Howitzer. It's going to take them a while to get in position. Let's move this chap up to Riga. Because right now this isn't, the object isn't to attack the Russians, it's to provide options. So you continue the march to Klausenberg. Probably going to have to attack one of these at some point. Get a new one. Cuthbert Collingwood, Admiral. George Murray's already been recruited. Lots of good traits. Natural Scout. Plus 5% army line of sight. That's pretty handy. Moving range is handy. Frederick Adams, aggressive attacker. Oh, he's the guy who ambushed the army near Poland. Lots of recruitment in Austria. We've got some more artillery. John Stewart. So, John Stewart, you are going to take Conqueror and that merchantman. Embark. You, my friend, are going to be based in De Denmark. So if Russia suddenly decides to declare war on us, I can fire you and uh, maybe even St. Petersburg. Because I've got... Well, this is a bit of a concern. Uh, or to be honest, at this point, should I just declare war on them? Should I just pull the trigger and say, you know what, I'll, I'm effectively going to declare war on the whole world. I think I might. We're unfriendly, so I feel no bones. So they're at war with everyone. The only, so they will call, they could call in Sweden, Greece, Naples, Sicily, and Austria. I doubt these guys will want to call anyone in. And it's tempting to go back and finally kill Napoleon, especially as he is building an army. I mean, I could just build a navy to blockade it. Such as you. Thomas Masterman Hardy. It's just a real she should have been doing much more than this, Thomas Hardy. Well, I'm not at war with them. But I'll, I'll put them into Genoa. So they're at least in theatre. I think I'm probably going to do it. Because where else could the Russians be going that isn't against my interests? I mean, well, I mean, they could be sailing all the way around to attack the French, but to be honest, do I even want that? I don't think I do. So, I think... I think I might just pull the trigger. But are all my forces where I want them to be? Austria's garrisoned up to the hilt. So that's not an immediate concern. Wellesley is here, and he is fortified because these are the guys th these guys will immediately come after me so I think I might bring you down to here because I'm running out of generals aha Sigmund Werner you join out with Albert Aaron Albertson Bill Norman's board and let's build some foot units because I think that'd be quite fun. So let's take this navy up here, George Elphinstone. Declare war on the Russians, the final great war. Oh, oh. So I'm at war with Austria. Oh, Prussia. I'm at war with Greece and Sweden. Interesting. So let's just do this. So there goes that Russian navy, Russian army. Let's blockade their port. 
the Swedes hold an interesting naval card there. Let's see if Thomas Cochran, with the nymph under his command. But what I might actually do is move my fencibles out, disembark my fleet, bring Thomas Cochran along, pick up Conqueror in the fleet. So this is a pretty weak fleet, but bring Cochran over and blockade Malmo. And that should provide the freedom for this army under John Stewart to embark onto just a single merchantman. Actually, he can't go anywhere. Let's group these guys together to give them a bit more strength. Because they'll be also at war with... I don't know, this, so none, of the, none of the Italian states actually joined them. But the Greeks did. And this is an interesting proposal, especially... Ooh. Okay, Nelson, you have a new target. Box in that Greek fleet. And then it also provides us with an interesting opportunity with some of these armies that aren't necessarily doing anything. Or even the armies that I'm building in England. Especially as I've got Brett Spencer. So you need... Uh, let's get some artillery. One, two. Oh, for if I double click it in the thing, maybe it might double up. But no, let's get some artillery. Boom, boom. So that's six units of artillery. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two more units. So you want some skirmishes. There we go. And that'll be that army finished. You are going to join this army and you probably need something similar. To... Okay. I think that's an interesting way to go about it. Next turn I can, should be able to move this fleet with this army over and drop them off the edge at St. Petersburg. George, money, you go here, up towards up here to go to threaten Vilnius. Warsaw is safe. I mean, let's take this fraction of troops out to go hit Peter Gresner. Slice. So let's put you back into a replenish. Frederick Adam, you need to make a beeline here. Because there's scope for them to go for Breslau. So let's try and build up a reasonable garrison in Breslau. And well, I should end the part here, but I want to hit enter just once more to see what the response is. Ah, so the Austrians are sallying, sallying out of Zagreb. But looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. At least now we are at the the final war. We're again at war with the Russians as well. So, cheers, guys.